We are going to talk about rounding to the nearest 10 with four digit numbers. Since I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I need to make sure that I underline the tens place. The underlined digit will either stay the same or it will go up one. That's all the underlined digit ever does. Now, the digit next to the underlined digit, I circle. This is the boss of the underlined digit. If the circle digit is a five or higher, the underlined digit will go up. If the circle digit is a 4 or lower, the underlined digit stays the same. So the circle digit is the boss of the underlined digit. Now since my circle digit is a 5 or higher, my underlined digit will go up to a 7. Everything in front of the underlined digit will remain the same. The underlined digit will become a 7 in this case, and everything after the underlined digit always, always, always becomes a 0. Next one, 3,534 rounded to the nearest 10. I underline the tens place because that's what I'm rounding to. The underlined digit will either stay the same or go up 1. <clears throat> the digit next to the underlined digit needs to be circled because that's the boss of the underlined digit. If the circle digit is a 5 or higher, the underline goes up. If the circle digit's a 4 or lower, the underlined digit stays the same. In this case, the underlined digit will stay the same. So when I put my answer down, everything ahead of the underlined digit stays the same. The underlined digit stays a 3. Everything after the underlined digit always becomes a 0. So 3,534 rounded to the nearest 10 is 3,530. And next one, 2,895 rounded to the nearest 10. I underline the tens digit because that's where I'm, what I'm rounding to. That underlined digit will either stay the same or go up one. Circle the digit beside the tens, tens place because it, that's the underlined digit's boss. It tells it what to do. If the, under, if the circle digit's a five or higher, the underline goes up. If the circle digit's a four or lower, the underlined digit stays the same. In this case, the underlined digit will go up. So that underlined digit will become a ten. <clears throat> Now, I cannot fit those two digits into the tens place. So just like when I add, I need to take the 1 and carry it over to the 8. That 8, I'm then going to add that 1 onto the 8, and the 8 is going to become a 9. So the, the 0 stays in the tens place. The 0 will take the place of the underlying digit. So in front of the underlying digit, I have a 2 comma, that 8 became a 9, the 0 is in the tens place, and everything after the underlying digit always becomes a 0, 2,900. And last one down here, much like the one before, I'm underlining the tens place, and the, tens, the underlying digit will either stay the same, or it will go up one. After I underline the digit, I circle the digit next to it because the circle digit is the underlying, bo underlying digit's boss. It tells it what to do. If the circle digit's a 5 or higher, the underlying digit goes up. The circle digit is a 5 or higher, so my underlying digit's going to go up. Now, once again, I can't fit two digits into one place, so I need to carry the 1 over to the next one and add it on. That 9 will become a 10. I can't fit those two digits in one place. So I need to carry that one over to the next one and add it on. So that four, that three becomes a four. So what I have going on here is I have a four in the thousands place, a zero in the hundreds place, a zero in the tens place, and everything after the underlying digit always becomes a zero. So 3,998 rounded to the nearest 10 is 4,000.